is Angel Terry here with some more Paper Sorcerer. Uh, when we last left off, I believe we just finished... Yep, Sublock 10, Floor 4. Um, I went and sold extra stuff I didn't need, got my ghost some more hit points and a little bit of magic. So off to level 5, 4, 5, whatever, 5, 5 is alive. <coughs> Gathered before you are four of the overseers you previously defeated. However, they have a far off hollow look in their eyes. When they speak, it is in unison with a flat monotone. The Archon of the Book has revived us to protect the final binding. You know not what you do, sorcerer, and you must be stopped. They advance towards you. Oh no! Jumbers! <coughs> definitely safe here just in case okay so these are the four heroes uh, sort of or at least four people we defeated before these are not the heroes hmm all right well I should definitely paralyze somebody and they're all a pain in the arse I think I'll go after the Necromancer first. So let's paralyze the Lord of Illusions. Let's get a nice storm going. Start working on getting rid of this necromancer here. What do you got? <clears throat> Establish him. You know what? Ooh, I could paralyze too. Okay. Let's see if I can paralyze the decimator. Sorry, baby, I'm in a boss fight. It's bad enough taking these guys on one at a time. Now I have to take on all four. Alright guys, we're doing good. We're hanging in there. That's right. Soak up that damage. see if we can chain a silence the Lord of Illusions. I'm in a boss battle. These four these four heroes here is who I beat before, but they all came back from they were resurrected. <clears throat> Splashing with some firestorm. I'm gonna do it. Be quiet. <laughs> My sister's like, don't do it, don't do it. Uh Let's put the challenge up on him. And an inhumane strike on the Necromancer. <clears throat> Come on. Alright, doesn't look like things like silence and all is working, but that's fine. Give it a shot. Yes, Necromancer down. Yes, Illusion is down. Yes, that... Guy's down. <laughs> Forgot what he was called. The butcher or whatever his name is. Yeah, you suck it. Woo! Ooh, got some scrolls. Nice. <clears throat> All right. That that felt good. All right. Now, what type of scrolls did we get? Scrolls. HP magic. Alright, so I want to give the scroll of the owl definitely to my sorcerer. Okay. Uh, oh, 
Okay, defense. You know what? I'm going to give both the defense to the ghost because he needs it. <laughs> defense. To the ghost. Okay. And then. Damage bow is definitely going to my vampire. Skulls. Permanent increases max hit points. Well. Ghost definitely needs more hit points too. He's, he's more the weaker link right now. Very good. Okay, so he can handle some girl. I mean, he, she needs some stuff, but that's fine. We should be good. Okay. Very nice. That was a nice and easy battle. But it looks like things like paralyzing all doesn't work on the boss guys, and that's fine. <clears throat> Anything down here? Nope. Restoration crystal. Huh. All room and nothing. Except that. Another restoration crystal? Okay, apparently they thought I'd die a lot. Oh, unless I have to fight another group of people. Standing before you are Banana Warrior. I keep wanting to say banana. <laughs> but <laughs> Banan the Warrior, Rishiers the Ranger, Yalran the Priest, and Akimi the Mage. Uh oh. Looks like we're having a reunion. Surely you understand the chaos that will happen if those in prison here are set free. We have given an oath to prevent the evil sealed within here from escaping. Your fight is pointless. Even if you escaped, there's nothing out there for you. Well, at least I want to be trapped in a book with you numbnuts. What do you mean there's nothing out there? You fool! You mean you didn't know? Time passes differently in the Librum Claustrum than in the outside world. It could have been years since you were, se since you were sealed in here. <laughs> the people outside have moved on with their lives. They probably don't even remember you. I didn't come this far just to give up. I don't care what's out there. Seriously, I don't care and I just want to get the hell out. We knew this would come down to a fight. I can't say I'm disappointed. Yeah, but you stink. So why are you worried about it? Prepare yourself, sorcerer. I'm changing all your voices. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so before I do anything, I want to get my people um, up with the energy and all, because I don't want to go in here half arsed. Because I have a feeling these guys are going to give me some trouble. Whoop! Sorry about that. Don't want to use that. Okay. Dum to dudly do do. Da, 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 do. Okay, now back that up. Get my cultist. So he heals. Very good. Excellent. Save this puppy. Because we're about to take on the four guardians or whoever they are, the heroes. Whoopsies, wrong button. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, uh, thank you. Okay, so, well, the mage is definitely the more of a pain in the butt in this. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. So paralysis we know didn't work, so we don't want to waste that. Uh, let's slow them down. <clears throat> and then we need to do... Ice storm. At least to get them that. 
Now let's just go straight up on attack from the mage here. I want to get rid of her. Um, I don't really need to uh, do a regular attack. <laughs> 69 hit points. Uh, lols. Boom. Kimi's magic shield. Okay, so she's warded against ice fire and all. That's not bad. Okay, that did very little. Your counter stance. You raised up the strength. Okay, I could deal with that. Now let's lower the strength. Let's see. Alright, that's. Alright, so I can't use it against a mage. So, let's use it against a ranger. Uh, not doing too much damage, so let's just focus on getting rid of the mage here. <clears throat> That was nice damage. Okay, so his block went up. And my sorcerer got paralyzed, okay. Alright, so two people are paralyzed. I really want to get rid of this mage. For, well, never mind. She's dead. <laughs> oh, there goes the ranger. Anybody else? Nope. All right, then. Hmm. Whoa, what is that? That is a spell. That didn't really hurt. Ha ha, failure. Firestorm. <clears throat> yeah, I'm a lot stronger now than when you first fought me. <laughs> Banana. <laughs> I'm sorry. First I read it because it's B-A-N-A-N, hun. But then I'm like, that's totally banana. Banana na ba ba da da da. Ow. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Ooh, ripped through my defense, though. So. Alright, have you focus? Eh, let me leech some HP and energy from you, buddy. You won't mind. Let's see what this does. Oh, we used it. I guess it puts HP into uh, to add uh, damage to your attack or something. Well, we'll never know. Scroll the cat, scroll the bull, scroll the tower. Nice. Well, well, well. You stink. I think we're getting close to the uh, main guy that we have to beat here, people. My friends, my friends, increase agility. Well, I think I need to increase the vampire's agility because he seems to be a little slow. Ba -da 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 -ba -da -da -ba. Permanently increase to another defense. Okay, that's going to go to the ghost because you need all the defense you need. You can get, buddy boy. Scrolls. And strength. 
Well, strength is definitely going to my vampire. Forgot where he was. There he is. Why don't they just put him in alphabetical order? Vampire. Excellent. Save. Okay. Let's check to see if there's any. This is a big room. Let's check to see if there's any hidden stuff around. I just never like in games where there there's like the room that you go into is humongous, but there's like nothing in there, or there's like one thing, because then even I'm like, uh, you know that's a trap. <clears throat> you know, like doors are gonna open and people are just gonna run out going blah 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 and get you, you know. Well they might not go blah 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 but I'm sure you get what I mean. Next level. You, f you clear block 10, level 5. You feel the end is near. Okay. Now, before we go to him... Well, I think I have enough to do this. Alright. Let's use some stuff. Get our energy back. Pretty ready to beat this game, guys, so let's do it. Uh... Alright, so I'm going to save it here just in case. Okay. And we'll see what happens. This is this is it, folks. This is the end. We gotta kill this guy so we can get out of this darn book. Whoop. Turn back or risk facing my ire. Face my blade. Does you have me? <laughs> get out of my way, crossing. This is the only path for me, I'm afraid. If you seek to free that which this book was made to hold, I will have no other choice but to stop you. But protecting her like this isn't helping her, is it? Keeping that one here is best. That is my purpose. How is keeping her here protecting her? That one seeks ruin. All else seeks to preserve itself. Only here can that one continue without being destroyed. Would letting her do as she pleases be so destructive? Did she really seek ruin or is it just that he didn't want to confront her? If that is so, that then that was his mistake. Regardless, he or she only seeks my destruction here. So if she became unhappy here, would you protect her from herself as well? Unhappy, but she always... Would you still hold her back? Stop, stop, stop! Disappear! Uh-oh. Alright, so he must be talking about that mouse. Lady. Okay, so this, my friends, is Archon of the Book. And the Archon is what was created, uh, I guess, to, along with the magical book, to keep everybody in. And I think he was referring to the mouse, who is the spirit of the book. Now, we need to be careful with this. I have a feeling paralysis and seal is not going to work. So, why don't we work on us? So, let's raise our magic and arcane defense. Let's see if we can lower your agility. Uh, let's see if I can scorch him. And let's increase our dodge chance. Let's see how that goes. Negate self level one. Okay, that looks like he um, has like a remove stuff on himself, so we gotta be careful. Okay, that didn't work. That's fine. Okay. Let's 
raise our strength and agility. Let's raise our strength and magic. I'm buffing myself up with this because I'm not screwing around. All right, let's do a strong melee attack. And let's do a powerful slash on him and see what happens. <coughs> Okay, that that did some damage. Well, that half to my uh, defense there. Gotta be careful. Let's do a traveler's tune. Uh, let's do mage armor on myself. Let's do a defensive strike. And what could you do? Let's see if we can do an arcing burn, see if that hurts him. You see, a lot of this stuff, you know, I'm sure many of you people have fought boss enemies, so it's more like trial and error. Well, we could do this. Let's see. Oh, not bad. 254. Ooh, what does that do? Oh, that raised his defense. <clears throat> this. <laughs> See if I can lower his agility. This is great resilience. Where's that? Ah, let's try the acid. Let's see if I can lower his defense with the acid flask. Okay, so he just looks like he negated uh, the stuff I did to him, which is fine. with a beam of arcane energy. Yeah, let's restore some defense. And <clears throat> okay. Mm -hmm. of life. Okay, so he just put regeneration on. Hmm. Oh! Oh, that's not bad. Oh boy, now he's healing 900 at a time because he's a nugget. Let's see if I can try to scorch him again. See, I have to try to keep doing more damage than his regen's doing, but I don't know if I could do that. Serpent strike. Ouch. Oh, okay, the skeleton got poisoned, so we gotta get that off of him. Mm, nope, didn't set him on fire. What a bummer. Yes! The Archon is down! But let's not be uh, too excited because he might have another form like boss monsters usually do. <clears throat> I see now, so you were my better. Stop! Oh, excuse me. Stop! She dives in front of the Archon, preventing you from landing the final blow. 
I thought you wanted to break the bindings. I want to escape, but not by destroying him. Uh, why is this guy important? He is all I have left of my love. Are you going to use him as a proxy? What the hell does that even mean? I forget. Um, how is that? You discovered before I was the dread sorceress. Aleel, did you not? Oh, I thought they were talking about me. Okay, well, okay, so that's Aleel. Oops. Uh, I forgot some of it. Could you explain it all? I will refresh your memory then. Have one of your thralls go fetch us tea. It would take a little while to say. When I had conquered nearly half of the country and had wrought far more damage than could be atoned for with anything less than a death sentence, my apprentice feared for the consequences and tried to convince me to run to another country with what spoils we had already appropriated. But my ambition couldn't be dampened. I refused him outright and banished him from my sight, thinking he wanted me to give up on owning the continent outright to do with as I pleased. You said outright twice in the same sentence, whoops a daisy. So he convinced the Queen's Parliament that I was too powerful to slay, that I would reign if they tried, tricked them into using his magical tome to seal me away, planning to retrieve me later. But something went wrong. He ended up here, somehow having become a hex knight. I forgot his face. My memory made Swiss cheese by the binding spell. Okay, so that was the... not the first guy we fought, but I think the guy on the second block. The one that... or the one that when we killed and then he uh, appeared as a ghost. Okay. And I bid you slay him. Only my heart knew the mistake I had made. But this Archon, I can feel his spirit in him. Perhaps the great magic he summoned to create this prison took a bit of his love with his magic. I wish to talk to and learn about this Archon with open eyes, to see if perhaps something of him is left in this world. Would you grant me that opportunity? Uh, you know what? What the hell? As you please. Go have fun. Then let's finish this. Keep dorky. Do we go back? Do we go forward? Where are we? Okay, we go this way. <coughs> I see how you my better. Oh gosh, dang it! Hold on a second. <laughs> Perhaps does it matter though if we both treasure our lives? What's really going on here? Uh, yep, up, 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 pardon me, people. I went the wrong way. My apologies. We have to go this way. I thought it had never mind. I screwed up. As you approach the binding, she feels so recited. You well, you are with the wrist, please. Sound wrenching itself, binding snap. Just as the tremors become more violent, you feel your body getting lighter and everything begins to fade away. Oh. Okay, well, apparently we're out of the book, and the music is overlapping. And so the sorcerer, the spirit of the book, and the other assorted inhabitants of the Librum Claustrum escaped. Okie dokie. However, the world they emerged into was an unfamiliar one. Did I emerge into, like, the 20th century? The sorcerer found the modern culture novel, with many things to adapt to a familiar purpose. The sorcerer's summon thralls were no small help either. Aleel found a new piece under the Archon's protective watch. Over time, the Archon became a more nuanced being and they were close companions. Well, that's good. To avoid detection while making trouble, the spirit of the book followed the sorcerer's route as she made trouble. You use trouble two times in your sentence. The vampire infiltrated high society, but after getting hooked on blood bank plasma, got all mopey and posted poetry about living forever on the internet. Oh, good God almighty. The ghost found a world that couldn't get enough of being scared and proceeded happily making appearances to perpetuate the occult haunting gimmick in entertainment. Huh. 
The Minotaur found an abandoned hermitage while wandering about, which he restored and occupied. The everyday life, doing chores, and keeping busy helped him master his rage and learn to focus his energy on tasks at hand. Aww. The skeleton found purpose guarding a dilapidated tomb, and once a year goes out and has a rollicking jolly time amongst costume partygoers. Wow. My minions are stupid. The cultists wander away from civilization to an area replete with the blessings of nature and started a massively influential and wealthy cult. What is up with my minions? The abomination found a girl that saw the beauty of his heart and lived in saccharine life, helping her with the heavy lifting at her plant nursery. Oh, now that's cute. I like that one. <laughs> Even though they all had traveled an arduous path, they preserved and each walked a path to fulfilling lives while maintaining their bonds of camaraderie. Okay, so that tells about the people who you had in your party. Alright, that's cool. Paper Sorcerer. Okay, guys, well, um, I'm going to let this credits, the credits go while I talk a little bit here. Uh, just give you my thought on the game. Uh, overall, I really enjoyed it. Uh, the art style was very unique. I um, really liked how you could pick your, you know, companions with your summons. You know, I, I wasn't too thrilled with the puppet, but, you know, that's like a choice thing. Um, it was nice how everything was sort of in like one spot. You know, your sanctuary had everything you needed. And then you just went through the levels, you know, easy compact. So it wasn't like too confusing on where you had to go. So that's a plus. Um... There was a fair amount of typos, but you know, that's, it can be overlooked, and uh, sometimes my design disappeared on my hand, and that was actually disappointing. But I, th I give it a 4 out of 5. The only reason why I don't give it a full 5, is, as you not probably know, is because that one bug um, in uh, Floor 2, I think it was, with the key... It's just, you know, if you, like I, like I stated before, if you look up on Steam or you just Google it, the guy who made the puzzle says right there he knows about it, but like they never fixed it in what, five, six months? And that's not, I don't know, that's just, that's uncalled for. If you know about a bug, fix it. I mean, it's not game breaking, but it's more of an annoyance because, um,. Now that I beat the game, I don't think I really would have needed one of those spells, but, you know, having a, uh, a party heal and regen would have been, you know, kind of useful. But overall, though, guys, I really, really suggest you get this game if you haven't gotten it already. A guy who forgot to pay for shipping. Uh, but, um, yeah, get it, get it in your uh, repertoire. You know, play it once. It's a really good dungeon crawler RPG. You know, there's secrets to find. There's, you know, lots of items. You know, if there's anybody also who... I don't really care and I don't think I bought that. Okay, that's some weird thing in the credits. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so if you tried any of the other classes, you know, or the other summons, like the, um, you know, the goblin or the troll or the werewolf, whatever, let me know what you, what you think. You know, and especially if you took the puppet as a summon and actually used them. You know, let me know what you think of that, if it was a good idea, bad idea, or whatnot. Dumb. Fnord. <coughs> Alexandra. That's a neat... Yes, please! <laughs> I love... Uh, a lot of places need more of the funny credits. I think a lot of people just kind of quit the game without really looking at the credits. I mean, these people spent time making this up. That guy called Pete. Like, that guy called Pete. You know. It was just... It, that's... You know, that's interesting. I'd rather have the credits at the... Um beginning of the movie I think than at like the end or like the beginning of the game instead of the end because a lot of times I think like I was you know like I was saying when it, with the, at the end people just kind of quit out of the game or they leave the movie theater without really seeing the credits of all the people who spend time and do this powerful hallucinogens well you know we all need that when we make in a game I guess <clears throat> soul tour yes Uh, useless. Uh, that's never fun. TSO. Mark something. <laughs> Visible Wonder Games. 
Cheap Trick? Isn't that a band? It's a lot of people. They didn't even put them in alphabetical order either. I can't even skip it. <laughs> Just gonna wait and see if there's anything interesting at the end. Golf Echo Bravo, geek from the perilous realm .com. Uh oh. Dread guacamole. Yeah, guacamole doesn't agree with me. It's not bad, but doesn't agree with me. There we go, we can hit the space bar. All oh, these people. Oh my god. Wish I knew about this sooner. Thanks for playing. Thank you for making the game. Oh. More people. Does this just repeat? My lord. We need like a convinced TLDR version. Yeah, it looks like it just keeps going, guys. So, anywho. So, this is Angel Terry here with Paper Sorcerer. And players like you. Thank you. Thanks for playing. You are quite welcome, buddy. The end. Finally. Whew. All right. That was like almost 10 minutes of freaking credits. Um, but yeah, so this is Paper Sorcerer. And I hope to see you guys next time with a new game to be started up. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.